Alright, I finally got a DC-14, but, um, got it at a pawn shop for $40, and it needs a new belt, or both belts, so I went ahead after I got it and picked up a back of, or a, vac a pack of belts, but it's still a little dirty, a little crusty. It came with these two tools. I had to buy the, um, dusting brush and crevice tool at the vacuum store, but I'm surprised I got it for this much. I basically talked them down and down and down because they had 150 on it, but anyway, what I use to refurbish vacuums, or at least clean them up, is a wet cloth, a dry cloth, a magic eraser, and another vacuum. So step one to me is tearing it apart, so let me go ahead and do that. Alright, it's all torn apart now, and this thing, I tested it out, it stinks, and I'm going to replace the belts with my dad. I'm not going to do it on camera, but it's apparently really hard to do because there's two belts and you have to take the whole entire clutch apart. But anyway, let me just tuck that back. The brush roll is eh, okay. And I'm going to show how to get scuffs off the vacuum now and how easy it is. So let's just put it back on the side. switch hands all right let me try and all right I guess I can't make it go still but we went to a few pawn shops today me and my dad and they had a brand new uh, not the one that I got this at but they had a brand new v6 motorhead and they had two regular v6s and then a dc50 all right sorry about that let me just finish getting the rest of these scuffs off but yeah, they had four brand new Dysons there. So, kind of unusual for a pawn shop. They were probably stolen from a Kohl's or Costco or something. But the Magic Eraser just is so great with removing scuffs from the vacuums. That's how most of my Dysons look almost brand new. Looking brand new. Alright, after this, I'll do more cleaning and record it. And uh, this morning, when I find when I found out about this, my dad told me that he went to a pawn shop like two days ago, and there was a silver DC 14 there, and I got all excited because I wanted the silver one. I don't care if it was the silver and purple one, the silver and red, or the silver and white, but I would really really want the silver and white look at all the stuff i'm getting from this so anyway i asked my dad dad do you know if it was silver and white he said i think it was silver and white and i said oh great because that's the one i wanted so i might get it today if they have the right price on it so we walk in there and i see that it's black <laughs> and i went off on my dad and told him to be more observant <laughs> And he just rolled his eyes, so. Anyway, I still want a DC-14, and most likely, I don't know if I am or not, I've always wanted to spray paint a Dyson, so I might just spray, or I might take the whole cyclone apart from there and just get these two black pieces off, and um, spray paint them like a blue, or maybe even white, or maybe like the color of my DC-24. Not the white, the silver on the ball. Then it might just match the top. I don't know what I'm going to paint it. Oh, if I didn't say this is a DC 14 complete. And what I'm thinking about doing is because I've wanted an up top tool or a soft dusting brush for the longest time. I might, because it's for the older Dysons and I only have three Dysons that use this um, fitting. So I might just scrap a Dyson dusting brush or tool or something and just like epoxy the end to this so it'll snap on my other tools but um that's what I might oh no it wore some of that away that's another that's a little drawback about using a what's it called extra clean magic eraser it took some of the logo off the Kenmore so 
Yeah, I'll record again when I'm at a major part of cleaning this. A really important part to me is always vacuuming out the filters. So, and of course washing them, but this doesn't look that worn or this, so I don't think I need to wash it. But I'll vacuum them out. Okay, it's a little while later. I blew out the cyclone with the air compressor and soaked the bin and got all the crap out of there. Made it nice and clean and dried it off. But now, I'm not going to do the whole like belt thing right now, but I'm just going to cut all this hair off and see if that makes a difference with the brush roll and then I'll give it a try. Alright, here's halfway through the brush roll. Still got another half to go. Alright, now the brush roll's finished. I don't clean up all this stuff later, I just want to try it out now. And I'm wondering if it still smells, because it smelled really bad in the pawn shop when I turned it on. So, let me put this all back together and kind of try and wipe this down, and then we'll do the first test. Alright, now it's time for the first test, and I really hope it doesn't stink, because I blew out the cyclone, I vacuumed out the cyclone, and I vacuumed out the filter, even though the filter still smells, so I might just replace the filter, because it smells really bad. So, here's the first test. <laughs> I mean, since I vacuumed the carpet every day, I mean, I got an okay amount out, but, um, I just decided to pull out my other three Dyson attachments, because now I have five of them. Well, I lost my mattress tool, but it was, like, the old-style mattress tool, like, you could only use it with the older Dysons, so that's, I wouldn't really count it as a loss, but I have four of these, so, I don't know. But I'm glad I got it. I'm either going to paint the Cyclone white, or I really like, like, I don't like the shiny blue off the DC-25, but, like, that same color. Um, I'll try and put in a picture of what I want of the color, like, my options to paint the Cyclones, but anyway, thanks for watching.